Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's lesson, I will elaborate on how you can use the average functions in Excel. And um, you will also be able to do the same in Excel 20, uh, in Excel 2007 or in Excel 2010, okay? Uh, beginning from Excel 2007, Excel has added um, two additional average functions. So they are, besides the average function, we have the average if, and also the average ifs function, okay? Average if plural. So let's take a look at the worksheet here and see what we have, okay? We have the data, product, sales representative. I use sales rep for short, and also the sales here. And I've already created the name ranges for these labels over here. As you can see, I have the date, product, sales, sales rep. And this data is approximately around 1,000 rows. So, okay. Uh, the use of the name range will help us uh, to use the functions much easier. Okay, so when I want to get the average for, say, the sales, right? I can just use the average function, okay? So let's do it. So let's type equals average, okay? It's the first one. Let's press tab to auto function auto complete. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut F3 to bring up the name range so that I can paste them. So in this case, we are going to select the sales name range, okay? And And then um, close the function. Okay, so here we have, this is the average. And let's verify this, okay. Um, this average amount is the arithmetic mean, okay. Meaning is uh, we're gonna total up the sales here and divide it by the number of rows that we have. Okay, I've already done it down here. Let's go use control N to go down. So uh, the total is this. Okay, some, some sales. So I have this, let me copy this down. Okay, and let's see, let's come up here and let's go back to the end of the, end of the data set and see we have 990 entries. Okay, okay, let's go back up. So let's see, okay, if I use a formula and I use the amount, which is um, the one I have here. Okay, let's, Let's copy this. Copy this. And paste it here. No, I can't. So let's let's do it like this. Let's come down here. Use the equal sign. Select this total and divide it divide it by nine hundred and ninety. Uh, 998, but we have to minus two rows, okay? So it's, it's going to be 996. So let's divide it by 996. And we get 1475.5975, which is exactly as the answer that we have by using the average function, okay? So now let's see how the average if function work, okay? Average if without the plural, okay? Now we want the average for the individual product. Okay, let me just put this dollar sign and remove the decimals. Okay, so we want to type average if, okay? And I'm going to use control A to bring up the dial, uh, the function argument box, okay? so. You see that we have three arguments here. The first argument is the range, okay? So where do we want to look? So in this case, we want to look in a range of cells to evaluate. So we want to we want to find the average for the product graphic design software. And we will look into the product name range, okay? So we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut F3 put in the product and the criteria is graphic design, okay? 
Wait, let me do this. Okay, let me let me correct this for a little bit. Let me just come here. This one should be graphic design software. Okay, okay now we can do the function. So let's type again average if okay control a so the range the, the, the name range that we are going to look into is the product name range and we're going to look for graphic design okay so for this i want to put uh, a dollar sign here okay I'm going to select this cell, G2. Okay, I already did. Okay, and you can see here the third argument is the average range. Okay, so this is an optional argument. You can see that it is not bold. So for this optional argument, we want to find the criteria in the range. So what do we want to average? The average that we want is the average of sales. So we're going to use the F3 shortcut again and select the sales name range okay so you can see that it gives us all the details here and click okay and i'm going to copy the format okay and there you go so this is the average for the sales for this product and let's see if i can autofill and checked okay so they are all uh, almost the same okay you can see that we are looking to the range of products to find this particular product and then we want to sum according to the sales name range okay so that is how the average if function works okay now let's move to another worksheet okay over here and and see how the average ifs function work so the average if works fine over here, okay? Uh, we have the sales representative, sales rep, and we can use the average if to find the average for the sales for this person over here, Adam, okay? So the average if function works uh, perfectly okay. So because uh, it uses one, two, three, three arguments. So we are looking into the sales name range and sales rep name range we want to look for adam okay the criteria is adam and once we do that we want to sum up how much sales did adam did so adam did 1476 okay now i want to use the average ifs function and i want to know the average sales of the rep, rep sales rep but I also want to know the average sales for the product, particular product sold by Adam. So to do this, we will have to use the average ifs function, okay? So let's come here and type average ifs, okay? Tap to function autocomplete. And I'm going to use control A to bring up the argument, okay? So here you can see the, the function argument dialog box. And this is a little bit different from the average if function. Okay, so let's go through it. So the first argument is asking me what I want to average. So I want to be averaging the name range sales. So use the keyboard shortcut F3, select sales. And as I click in the criteria range number one, you can see that the criteria one appears. So the criteria and range and the criteria comes in pair for the average ifs. Okay, for so for the first criteria, I want to average the sales from the sales representative. Okay, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut again, F3, and I'm going to select the sales representative name range. And when I find this, the criteria will be, and I want to, mesh it with the name of the sales rep okay which is adam over here oops select this one first adam 
okay and I will put a dollar sign in front of number three here because I want to lock this row so that I can copy the formula across you will see later on and now we have the second criteria range for the second criteria range I'm going to look into the name range product okay because I want to know how much of the product graphic design software has been sold the sales the amount for this product so uh, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut again product click OK and criteria 2 will be graphic design software and for this one I'm going to put also the dollar sign in front of row 2 okay okay so we have the average range which we will look for which is the sales name range and the first criteria range is the name range for the sales representative and uh, for the, the criteria this one should be okay i think should be i should put a dollar sign in front of the column f so that i can lock this column okay and the second criteria range should be the product how which is the graphic design software for the criteria number two so we have the projected answer and the click OK so this is the this is the amount of sales that Adam sold for this product graphic design software okay and because I use the mixed cell references just now where I put the dollar sign uh, inside okay here and here let's try to move down okay so if I click over here and click over here you can see that now the criteria has changed F7 and H2 also I can copy along here and I will get see the the function is looking into the sales and then it's looking into name range for the product and is referring to this okay okay so uh, what's left to do is just autofill the results okay so um, that's it that's how you can use the three different type of average functions that you can get in Excel 2007 and also Excel 20, 2010 okay um, and the bear in mind that when you use the average if function the, the importance of the combination of the criteria range okay That is very important. Okay. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next tutorial video.